everyone. So, this particular video or vlog is not going to be like all my other vlogs. It will be a lot shorter because I will be taking you through my bathroom remodel. And since it is going to take quite some time and there's a lot of different steps in this process, I will be taking you through it a little bit at a time. And as the process continues to get further and further along, I will continue to update you guys little by little when each step starts, and when, or should I say when a new step starts and when one comes to a finish. I'll be taking you guys through the things that I pick out for the bathroom, the different color paints, the tiles, and all that. So, I hope you guys will enjoy this as much as I will, or at least what I will and how I will enjoy it once it's actually done. So, I was taking a shower, and I came to find out that the shower was leaking into the kitchen through the ceiling, or from the ceiling. And so we got a plumber out here and they let us know what the problem was and in order to fix said problem they would either have to go through the wall in my daughter's room or through the wall in the shower. So after talking and discussing all the pros and cons with my husband we decided to just go ahead and get the shower fixed. And so that will entail a lot more than just fixing the part. So what will be happening is they're going to wind up taking out basically the whole shower. Yeah. So as you can see, as of right now, they are going to be drying out the floor, although I don't know how that managed to get wet. <laughs> and where you can see the, the X's, these are things that they will be knocking out. So basically, as of right now, things are just drying, but soon enough, they will be taking out all of this tile that you see, and it'll be replaced. Uh, this all will be replaced with something else. Not sure what yet. And the tile floor, the whole floor, will be coming up, and it will be replaced with new flooring the cabinets may also be replaced I'm not sure yet but as of right now that's where we're at you know i know there are a lot of people who really enjoy um having or should i say building from scratch picking out their own colors picking out their own all that you know all the different floorings all of the different fixtures etc that's just not something that I particularly enjoy doing. Uh, for those of you that don't know, last year our downstairs, the kitchen was redone, the laundry room, the downstairs bathroom, my daughter's room, the floors were redone, and it was just, it was a long process. At first, I was excited to pick out paint colors and match everything and get the floors that I wanted and the fixtures for the sinks that I wanted, picking out cabinets, picking out vanities, all of that. You know, at first, I was really excited about it. But once I got in the process of actually having to go into the stores, go through all the different stuff, pick stuff out, it just became so much. And by the end of it, I was really just done. And I couldn't wait for that process to be over with. And honestly, I was not looking forward to having to remodel anything else. But when things break, as they tend to do, especially when you're a homeowner, you really don't have much of a choice. So, uh, by the time that whole kitchen downstairs project was done and everything was remodeled I was really at my wits end especially you know people constantly coming in and out of my house letting in heat letting in flies which I absolutely hate the electric bill was astronomical by the time they were done drying things out in the house because downstairs did flood from the toilet and so by the time they were done drying everything out using those god-awful dehumidifiers and those fans it was just so loud it was ridiculous and by the time they were done our electric bill was close to eight hundred dollars it was outrageous my mind was blown i didn't even know an electric bill could be that high i suppose it can if you're living in some type of mansion uh but it was just wow 
So, anyways, back to the matter at hand. I thought I would take you guys along through this bathroom uh, makeover, so to speak. Take you guys through the journey with me so you can see every step of the way from the things I pick out to just all of it. And I'm sure um, it's probably going to be really hectic and it's probably going to get kind of noisy because that's what it tends to do, especially when the kids are here with the workers, which hopefully they won't be. Hopefully the kids will be in school, but when do things really work out that way? <laughs> so, yeah. Today, they should actually be here in the next few hours to start basically destroying what is now my bathroom. So, until that time, I am going to go and get the baby out of bed. I hear her calling me, get her dressed, do some cleaning up and some laundry before they get here. And we start going over cost, paperwork, etc. And that project starts being. So the demolition team has just finished with demoing what they're going to take out for now. They have also brought in the dehumidifiers and the fans. And I have also been informed that not only does the shower need to go, but the bathtub as well. So basically, the whole bathroom is being redone with the exception of the toilet. On top of that, my Youngest daughter's room has to be repainted once they fix the drywall, and the carpet has to be redone, as well as the ceiling in the kitchen, and it also may need to be repainted. I'll be updating you guys in the next couple of days on what is going to happen next. So make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss a thing.